news. I'm your news anchor, Madison Fox. Today we're gonna to take a look into the past of ancient India in 269 BCE to 550 CE. And Ayla's back at it again, traveling all the way across the world to India at one of the scenes where archeologists found ruins of Mahenjadaro. Thanks, Madison. I'm in Mahenjadaro in one of the scenes where archeologists found dice, stone balls, clay groove tracks, or other small objects. Streets were lined with houses, workshops, and other small shops that were made of mud brick. Women wore necklaces, bracelets, earrings, or rings that the jewelers made in their shops. Rooms had one to 12 rooms. Back to you, Madison. Thanks, Ayla. In ancient India, trading was a big part of its economy. India traded with China, Rome, and Egypt. Some foods they may have traded were wheat, rice, lentils, chicken, figs, cotton, salt, sugar, cinnamon, pepper, and other spices. They may have also traded clothing, pottery, and oils as well. To get to trading areas, people traveled by donkey, camels, and caravans. Ayla? Thanks, Madison. I'm here in ancient India, and I'm visiting some of its rivers, plateaus, mountains, and deserts. Some of the mountains are naturally formed there, and some of the mountains are higher than Mount Everest. Here are some examples of naturally formed places in India. The Bermuda's Rivers has lots of trees, fresh water, and fertile soil. The weather is very mild there. The Deccan Plateau. It was very, very fertile, sparse vegetation, and lots of rain. It was also very mild there too. 65 degrees to 100 degrees. Himalayan Mountains. This is not a good place to live. It has lots of earthquakes, but it does have a natural barrier around we'll it. We'll be back after the commercial break. Buy your quality chickens here. We hatched them ourselves, and they're only for 25 rupee. Wait, wait, there's more. Buy your quality chicken food here for only five rupee. Yay! Bok bok. Thanks, Ayla. Back when the people of Mahendradaro discovered the sewer system, it was a great achievement. This achievement was helpful to the people because it took waste away from homes and helped keep streets and houses clean. Rich or poor could use this system. The sewer system was a system of pipes connected to buildings. Thanks, Madison. Nobody knows much about ancient India government, but here are a couple things. In 300 BCE, some of the kings formed larger empires, especially to the north. Sharanda Gupta conquered a lot of the, of the northern and made it into one big empire. Sharanda Gupta lasted from 300 BCE to 200 BCE, 100 years. Madison? Thanks, Ayla. During the reign of King Ashoka, they believed in very little Buddhist values. But after King Ashoka saw a very bloody battlefield, he swore to believe in only Buddhist values. This was a big step in religion. I will be back after the commercial break. Don't you wish your meat could have a bold taste? Well, now I can with the new handmade spices. Cool, and only $5 each. Get it at your local handmade store. You're watching a &M, m News. You heard it from us first. And stay tuned for tomorrow's daily update on ancient Greece. In ancient India, trading was a big part of its economy. <laughs> Sharanda Gupta, Sharanda you're filming? <laughs> Nobody knows much about ancient India government, but here are a couple things. In 300 BCE, some of the kings formed larger empires, especially to the north. Sharanda Gupta conquered many of the elements. <laughs> Science. I'm here in ancient India, 